Hi everyone, George Farmer here, content creator for Tropica Aquarium Plants. In this video we will show you some more progress in this Fluval Flex 57 litre aquarium, including the weekly maintenance that we undertake in order to keep it healthy and looking good. You can check out the previous videos on this tank, including the step-by-step -step tutorial, by clicking the links in the description and the pinned comment. Make sure you're subscribed to the Tropica YouTube channel and have notifications enabled so you don't miss out on our weekly uploads. As you can see, the plants are all looking healthy and showing steady signs of growth. It's essential to maintain the tank appropriately to ensure the aquascape develops well with no nuisance algae buildup, helping to maintain excellent water quality and to keep it looking attractive. The regular weekly maintenance in this aquarium includes the five following steps that we will show you in more detail as we go through them. Plant trimming, cleaning the aquarium glass, cleaning the filter, changing the water and adding liquid fertilizer. The first plant that requires trimming is the Halanthium quadricostatus. This is a very fast grower that sends out runners prolifically that need keeping in check in order to prevent them from smothering the other plants. The runners are simply cut with aquascaping scissors and the excess plants removed and discarded of responsibly. These could be replanted in order to propagate the plant but there is no need in here as a plant density is already high enough. In severely overgrown aquariums it is wise not to trim back too many plants in one go as this can affect the overall biological balance of the system, potentially resulting in algae as the plant biomass is greatly reduced and struggles to compete with the algae. The only other plant we're trimming today is the beautiful Staragani repens. Although it isn't overgrown yet, it is a good idea to trim the stems in order to promote new side shoots and bushier growth. The long term intention is to have it forming an attractive mound shape around the base of the wood. This will take several weeks or even months to achieve due to this aquarium not having CO2 injection or strong lighting. If we wanted to increase the growth rate considerably, I could add a CO2 kit such as the Tropica System Nano, but for now I'm happy to see a slower and steadier growth rate. Let us know in the comments if you'd like to see CO2 injection on this aquarium. The aquarium glass and background is now cleaned using a combination of an algae sponge for the main parts and toothbrush for the corners. Finally, I use a credit card to clean the algae at the bottom of the glass near the soil. The next step is to clean the aquarium filter media. This is a very simple process where I just pull out the large filter sponge and squeeze in a bucket of old tank water. It's important not to use fresh tap water as any chlorine or chloramine can potentially kill off the beneficial filter bacteria that is responsible for much of the biological filtration. It's important to clean the media to prevent it from becoming too clogged with waste that can lead to poor circulation and algae. I clean the filter media every two weeks and once a month the filter pump's impeller is also cleaned. One of the most important maintenance tasks is to change the water. I perform a 50% water change once a week and do this after all of the other maintenance tasks are completed. This is because algae and other waste organics have been dislodged and are now floating around the aquarium. These need to be removed as part of the water change, otherwise they could potentially result in triggering more algae. I siphon out the old water using a hose and bucket and replenish with fresh dechlorinated tap water at the same temperature as the aquarium water. I like to use a kitchen colander to prevent the fresh added water from disturbing the soil and plants beneath. The filter is switched on and now I add one pump of Tropica Premium Nutrition in order to help keep the plants well fed. This, in conjunction with the Tropica Aquarium soil, ensures that the plants remain healthy, which in turn helps to prevent algae. Now the aquarium is maintained and I can relax and enjoy it knowing that it will hopefully continue to develop well during the next week until it is time to maintain it again. We recommend setting some time aside specifically for your aquarium maintenance every week, ideally the same day, to ensure consistency. Although skipping maintenance is sometimes tempting, try to remain disciplined and make your maintenance sessions a part of your weekly routine. It is always better to prevent issues from occurring before you have to fix them. This is a fundamental part of helping to achieve a successful aquarium. Let us know in the comments how often you maintain your aquariums and if you have enjoyed this video please hit the like button and share it with your friends. Take care and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye bye.